All right, balance of powers. I am getting ready to start the last month of 1915. Um, we're in bad weather, and I wanted to talk a little bit about how that works here. So over here, uh, we can keep this over here to December. You have bad, or bad weather months um, here in, in Europe. And it's kind of interesting how this game handles that. Most games at this scale are kind of in general. Handle bad weather by increasing movement point costs or having negative effects on attacking. Uh, this game does neither. What it does is it shortens the monthly turn from one fortnight or from two fortnights to one. And the other is it doubles the cost of attacks. So normally to launch an attack, you need to spend one resource point. In bad weather, you have to spend two. Um, it's kind of a clever way of doing things. You don't have a lot of overhead as far as, okay, let me figure out how many movement points or, you know, uh, die roll modifiers or anything like that. It's just a kind of a very simple way of doing it. You have a less time. And if you want to attack, it costs a double. Um, so I really kind of kind of like how this game handles bad weather uh, in that regard. Um, let's talk where we're at here in terms of the game state. Okay, if you can see here, which I've been showing, um, the Germans are falling back further on the Western Front. Um, they put their efforts over into the Eastern Front and... The French and the British took advantage of that. Had some good die rolls as well. <clears throat> and this is actually at the end of, of December here. This is, um, so this will be the end of uh, 1915. So basically the Belgium's kind of been liberated. Brussels has been liberated. Um, and yeah, so they're not doing, central powers aren't doing well here. Going down the Italian front, <clears throat> um, the Italians are pretty successful. Now, they haven't knocked out the fort there at Trieste, um, but they did attack around it. There's an infrastructure marker right there, so they're going to be in supply if they want to continue their attack. So Italians are doing pretty well. The Germans just shuttled some cores down there to try and stem the tide. Uh, over on the Eastern Front, um, the Germans basically suspended their operations. They took their siege artillery, they moved them down here into Serbia to blast the Serbians here. Uh, so they, they want to knock this front out. The Brits are, are hanging down here, but they basically, they want to be done with Serbia. Because right now, Austria-Hungary is fighting on one, two, three, four fronts. And they just don't have the resources to do it. They want to shut down a front here, and they'd like to shut down the Serbian front. And because of that, the Turks are coming over, and looks like the, they're probably going to declare war on Bulgaria just to be able to come and support uh, and knock out Serbia here, and possibly Romania as well. Um, so that's kind of the game state right now. <clears throat> Wanted to go over here. Again, as I've gotten familiar with the game, I realized... This here is really, you know, what kind of drives your decision making more than the actual board state, or at least on par with it. You know, it's where your political crisis marker is. You know, how much demoralization have you suffered and how much money do you have? Um, these are the key factors in going back over to the map and saying, what, what should I do? What should I try to do? What can I do? Um, so I really enjoy uh, that aspect of the game. Definitely has a lot of, of you know, thought in, in terms of your strategic thinking, um, as well as your tactical thinking on, on how you launch your attacks. Um, oh, got this Japanese core here. There was also one over in Italy that died. I can't find anything in the rules that prohibit the Japanese cores from coming over and fighting in Europe, even though I don't think they ever did. Um, but they're here, and barring something I missed through the rat or anything, and I've went through the rules pretty thoroughly, um, I guess the Japanese cores can fight fight over in Europe, which is, uh, is kind of interesting. 
Okay, I will probably come back when we hit the summer of 1916, and we'll go from there.